Hello everyone, this is Ms. Fatma and this is a sneak peek into this week's lessons. So let's begin. First of all, I will introduce Unit 1, Forging a Hero. And in our unit introduction, we'll be watching a video. This video is basically about Queen Elizabeth, Queen Elizabeth I's speech to her troops in Tilbury amidst the uh, Spanish Armada's invasion, the Catholic invasion of England. Okay, now Queen Elizabeth I had to motivate her people to fight for her, so she dressed up in armor and went amongst her troops and gave them this historical speech. And after you watch the video, you will have to respond to a writing prompt, which is about what inspires warriors to make such certain sacrifices in wars, meaning leaders, kings, presidents send their troops to war all the time. But what inspires people to actually fight for them? OK, after that, we will start with our first lesson, uh, our first piece of literature, which is from, from Beowulf, translated by Burton Raffle. The reason I say translated is because this uh, epic narrative poem is written in very old English, and therefore it's very hard. Actually, we can't read it at all. So that's why we can only read the translated version of it. And before we start a lesson, I like to remind you of the essential question of the unit, which is what makes a hero? We will set off by introducing the context of the poem. So I'll talk about the Anglo-Saxon period, which is the earliest recorded period in uh, the history of England. And this would range from 449 to 1066. And it begins with the battle, ends with the Battle of the Hastings, where the French invade England. I think this is the only war that England loses. Uh, we will also talk about the Anglo-Saxon literature. You have to know that very few people read in this period, so everything was passed by word of mouth, which we call oral tradition. So it was either sung or performed by the Schwabs uh, from their own memory. Okay, of course, in very old English, and. That's why we can see several versions, okay, of the same story, okay? This word, shops will come up, and they are uh, poets that sing and perform these types of poems. And of course, you have to note that the author of Beowulf is uh, anonymous, unknown. The story of Beowulf we said marks the beginning of English literature, and it's the earliest known piece of literature in English, Old English. And the reoccurring themes would be the biblical Christian illusions, pagan customs, social customs, traits of a warrior, uh, and of course how Beowulf boasts. Uh, of course, although the people in the poem were pagan, we see that we will have biblical allusions, we'll have Christian uh, allusions to Christianity. And this is why it's believed that this poem, okay, was actually, actually collected, okay, or written by monks. There's only one original Beowulf manuscript, and it's at the British Museum, Museum in London. And of course, it's an epic poem. It's a long narrative. So it talks about the heroic deeds of Beowulf, okay, 
which is a larger than life hero. We also talk, so we'll talk actually in the lesson about characteristics of an epic poem and an epic hero and so on. And uh, of course, maybe you have watched Lord of the Rings is an example of an epic, uh, the Iliad, the Odyssey, all these. The epic poem of Beowulf is divided into three sections and it's all about the epic, Beowulf's epic battles with evil, with forces of evil, okay? So we will start with his battle with Grendel, okay? Here Grendel represents evil and he's a monster that attacks Herod, okay? This is where the Danes live and it uh, kills them, it slaughters them. Okay, and Beowulf, which is from the Geats, will come to their rescue. Okay, after that, we have the battle with Grendel's mother. And this is when Grendel's mother comes to avenge her son. The battle with Grendel. So, we are reading the first three parts of the poem and then we're stopping okay this week we will reading the part titled the wrath of grendel and the coming of beowulf the wrath of grendel basically talks about grendel's attacks on herod and how he slaughters and kills the men there and the coming of beowulf talks about how beowulf a hero from the Geats, comes to the rescue of the danes uh, uh, and rid them of this monster. Okay, so thank you for listening and I hope this was useful.